Well, both of these bills are education related. One would allow DACA recipients to get their teaching license and the other would allow for bilingual instruction in classrooms. House Bill 1451 would amend Arkansas's English only law to allow bilingual programs in public schools. The bilingual programs would be optional and up to each district to decide whether or not to offer them. I think bilingualism is an asset. It helps students become um, more culturally competent, more workforce ready, more competitive in a global uh, marketplace. We think it's the kind of bill that won't just help immigrants, but it'll help all our camps and students in giving them an opportunity from a young age to learn multiple language. And directly after House Bill 1451 was passed with only one no vote out of the education committee, House Bill 1594 was heard and passed unanimously out of committee. This bill would give DACA recipients the opportunity to obtain teaching licenses. DACA gives young undocumented immigrants a work permit and protection from deportation. Arkansas already experiences a teacher shortage, which has only gotten worse due to COVID. So this is our chance to put our kids who grew up here um, uh, to work toward us. And we also think that this is going to be a great way to recruit more Hispanics into the teaching profession. DACA students can go um, to school. They can work. They have legal work authorization in the United States. But there's a provision in Arkansas law that you must be a citizen to be licensed as a teacher. So that's the one um, eligibility change that we're making. Well, it's still early on in the life of both of these bills. They still have to go through the Arkansas House, the Senate Education Committee, and then the Arkansas Senate. Live in Springdale, Cole Zimmerman, 4029 News.